Cheers, mates. Good to see you all again. After a one-year hiatus, your boy, Laker Sparrow, is back for another Laker jersey update. I apologize it's been so long. Um, I kind of just get hot, caught up in the traveling life. I've been doing a lot of that since pretty much since I quit my job back in 2017. But I know it's been a while since I've done a video for you guys, so I'm going to give you guys a quick update on the jerseys that I posted in past videos that weren't signed, that are signed now. I'll give you guys a quick little preview update on how I got them signed, and we will go from there. Um, so let's get right to it. I know you guys want to say uh, it's been a little while for me, so I miss you guys, but I'm going to try to put more time into putting some more videos out for you guys. So let's get to it. All right, not much has changed in uh, the Lakers Shrine here. You still see the Laker Authentic jerseys I've got. Um, you know, since I've been doing a lot of the traveling within the last two years, I haven't really added a whole lot to the collection. Um, but I'm doing what I can with the money that I have. So um, right here is the pile of the Laker jerseys that I've accumulated within the last year from the last video. So this one right here is the authentic signed Kyle Kuzma jersey. This is the, the Kobe Braun edition, the Mamba edition. Uh, this one I got at a public signing that he did probably about a year plus so ago. He signed it super, super nice and silver sharpie. So thank you again for that, Kuzma. We got high, high hopes for you. I think you'll do really well this year. Um, next jersey that I have is an authentic Michael Cooper. Uh, this one here, he inscripted LA Lakers champs 80, 82, 85, 87 through 88. So Cooper's a super cool guy. If you guys never had the chance to meet him, he's super freaking awesome. Um, just one of the nicer Lakers Showtime legends that I've met. So that's uh, my Cooper authentic jersey. Uh, so this one here was a jersey that I posted, I think, on my last video, if I'm not mistaken. This one here is a Ron Harper. It took me a while to find this. Got a hold of him on Twitter and pretty much just asked him if I could send this to him. You know, big fan. And he had just said, yeah, here's my address. Send it to me. Send it to him. He put best wishes at the bottom here. It's number four. Uh, beautiful jersey. I was super happy to uh, find that on eBay a couple years ago and get that signed within recent years. Um, next one up is my JL Ryder. This one was also in the last video that was unsigned. Hoping I can get it signed, which I did. Same same source, got a hold of him on uh, Twitter. He signed this one for me as well and signed it beautifully. The only difference was he signed it number 34. Obviously, the jersey's number seven, but I'll still take it. Signed it as Isaiah Ryder, nicely on the number seven. So thank you so much for that, JR. I appreciate that, man. He even followed me back on Instagram, which I will put my link down below for you guys. If you guys aren't following me there, I'm going to try to do a lot better job on uh, giving you guys updates on just jersey collections and whatnot going on, especially since the Laker uh, season's right around the corner. So give you guys some updates, and I'll put the link down below. Uh, next jersey up was also another jersey that I had that was unsigned in, the, I believe, the, uh, the past video. This is a authentic rookie season. Brian Cook found this one on eBay a couple years ago, um, probably under 70 bucks. And knew instantly that it was a legit jersey and purchased it. Recently had Brian Cook sign this for me. I got a hold of him through Instagram. And he had said, yeah, yeah mate, I'll, I'll do it for you. So sent it to him with a few other items. Signed it. And this was really, really cool. I like this piece because you don't see a lot of Brian Cook number seven jerseys out there. And I was really, really stoked to pick it up. So thank you to the EB seller that didn't know what the hell he had. So cheers, mate. Um, next one up is actually another Brian Cook jersey. This one is a gamer. Um, this was either a game issued or or game one. It, it's hard to tell. Um, I know that it does have the official like Laker tag from the organization, so it does have that as well as flip it over for you here, mates. And the 0405 tag from the season. Again, it's hard to tell if it's been a game one or or issued, but. Nonetheless, this was another find at a swap meet that was framed, really badly framed, and I picked it up for about 40 bucks. So I don't like to tell Brian Cook that when I tagged him on Instagram of this photo, but <laughs> nonetheless, thank you again to the seller that didn't know what he had. And I mean, just beautiful jerseys overall. I think the, the Laker jerseys from that early 90s era up until about 2013 were probably like my favorite. Um, all right, Mike, so the next one up is also another gamer or issued. Mo Evans, authentic game jersey. Got a hold of him through Instagram. He said, yeah, send it to my office. I'll be happy to sign it for you, which he did. Um, what year is this one from? I think he only played like one and a half years for the Lakers. 
um, 07, 08, 07, 08. So got that one signed. And um, this one is a fucking dress, man. This one's so huge. It's just, oh my gosh. Can't believe like the height of some of these guys. It's freaking amazing. Um, next one up was another video. Another, another jersey that I had in my past video that was unsigned. Had been trying to get Devin George for the longest time. Might you have like no idea. So I got him um, at a public signing outside LA Live last season. He was doing a free signing event. Got him there. And he was more than happy to sign it for me. So I'm super happy about that. So thank you again, Devin. Much appreciated. Thank you for your time wearing the purple and gold. Uh, next one up was another cheap jersey I found, believe it or not, at another swap meet. It's fucking amazing some of the shit that you find there and the stuff that people don't know what they have. It's a gold, That's usually a golden gem to other people. This is another game-issued, game-worn jersey from Kwame Brown. I usually like my jersey signed on the number, but for the price that I paid for it, which is around the $50 range, um, I'll be more than happy to take it signed on the jersey. So again, there's another tag from the organization. Lakers organization there. Um, let's see. Let's check out the tag. Another 06, 06, sorry, 06, 07 season. And just another beautiful jersey to add to the collection. I mean, I've, I've said this multiple, multiple times to people. If you wear the jersey, you're part of the history. So that's the way I fucking see it. I don't give a shit if you play 10 games for the Lakers. It don't matter. Last one up I was... A uh, piece that I have been looking for for the longest time, mate. You have no fucking idea. Brian Shaw, authentic jersey. Um, I found this on eBay probably about a little bit less than a year ago. Was contemplating whether or not to buy it because I didn't really ha have the funds. But because it had been a holy grail in the collection, I was like, you know what? I got to cough it up. And for about, I think, 220 bucks, it was, it was worth it for me. And it's really, really nice jersey. Really, really nice. I've been looking for Brian Shaw for like the longest time. So... I'm happy to have it. I'm happy to have it in the collection. But other than that, mate, um, that's just a quick update of the Lakers Shrine. Not much has been going on in here. Again, I've been kind of traveling around. So I haven't had a lot of time to put any Lakers Sparrow videos up. But the collection is still up and live, mate. It's still going strong. And Lakers is supposed to look good this year. So let's do it. All right, mate. So that's a quick update of the Lakers Sparrow collection. I will definitely keep you guys updated on anything new that I add to the shrine. Again, I thank you guys so much for still subscribing, being part of this Laker obsession that I have. And uh, if there's any jerseys that you guys see out there that you think might be a good acquisition to my shrine, definitely please tag me, send me a message. I'll put the link down below of my Instagram page. You guys can kind of follow my updates there. But for the most part, mate... Thank you guys again for still hanging around. Let's go. We're supposed to expect a great season this year. So go Lakers. Drinks all around. I'll see you guys in the next video.